So the second month of 2017 has come to an end. And that means that I have learned 28 new facts about the world. If this is the first video you've seen, I'll link the first 31 facts up here so you can check them out and learn everything that I learned in the beginning of the year. If you don't know what this is, I made a New Year's resolution to learn something new every single day and at the end of each month I share with you guys the things I learned during the month. As you probably know by now, I have a thing for mountains and mountains is one of the things that I enjoy learning more about, which is why a lot of the facts are mountain related. This is what we're gonna go through. The first fact has to do with the previous month's fact, and that is the silica bags. Silica bags? They can be dangerous. If you are exposed to them a lot, I'm not really sure how that works. But I got a comment saying that they're not completely harmless. So I wanted to make that the first fact of this, <laughs> this month, uh, that they're not completely non-harmful, but they are not harmful in the sense that you get a rash and die if you touch them. Fact number two is that regular people like you and me can actually hike to the Everest base camp. I've mentioned this in a few videos already, uh, but I wasn't aware of this, which is uh, weird, I guess, but I always thought like, what's the point in hiking to the base camp if you're not going to climb the mountain? But the base camp is around like 5,000 meters, which is higher than a lot of mountains, so actually getting to the base camp is an accomplishment by itself. The Matterhorn is a mountain on the border between Switzerland and Italy. There is a drink in Sweden, an alcoholic drink, alcoholic, alcohol drink, <laughs> called a Lennart, which is a male name, and it's made out of pear liqueur, I think, uh, pigelin, which is a pear ice cream, and Sprite or any other kind of soda basically. Oh, well not any other kind of soda, but something that's similar to Sprite and they're really really good. Cat in Spanish is gato. A Tabata workout is when you work for 20 seconds and then you rest 10 seconds and you complete eight rounds of that and then you repeat the whole thing for like half an hour or 45 minutes. So you're like workout, rest, workout, rest eight times and that's one set and then you do as many sets as you need to do to complete 30 or 45 minutes or whatever. Koi no yokan is, that's how they finish. Koi no yokan. Koi no yokan is actually Japanese for not love at first sight. It's for the feeling when you meet someone that I could fall in love with this person at some point in time. <laughs> the next fact is that I can almost run 5k under 30 minutes now. When I was younger and very well trained, I would say, I, I think I ran 5k around 21, 22 minutes, so I mean under 30 minutes it's not like wow so impressive, but it's a struggle. Like if I can run 5k under 30 minutes I'm happy with that, but I can just barely do it. On the next day I actually listened to a very long podcast episode with Petter Stordalen, who is a Norwegian entrepreneur and hotel owner. And he's a very, very interesting, inspiring, and fantastic person. So, I mean, technically I learned everything that was in the podcast, but I didn't feel like writing it all down. So I just wrote down that he's awesome. And if you feel like being inspired, you should check him out, because he is very, very cool. In English, there's a thing called VAT, which stands for Value Added Tax. In Swedish, that is called MOMS. And I never really understood what MOMS stood for, or I never really learned what MOMS stood for. And MOMS stands for Mer Värdes Omsetnings Skatt. Annapurna is one of the 8000 mountains that I mentioned in my mountain video and it's very very difficult to climb. On this day I watched uh, like a natural geographic talk that Ed Viesters did about summiting all 8000 and he really struggled with Annapurna so I jotted down that it's a very difficult mountain to climb. At least for him it was. I don't know if it is for other people but I'm gonna base it off of his experience. <laughs> the mountain Lhotse is 8,516 meters high. But it's just a few hundred meters sh shorter, less tall <laughs> than Everest. The banana plant is actually the world's largest 
herb. A big difference between the Swedish language and the English language is that in English you very rarely put words together. Um, for example, man cave. Man cave is two words, obviously, and that's standard in the English language. But in Swedish you put everything together. Like, super good is one word, man cave is definitely one word, very fun is one word. Like, you really, you put words together a lot, and there's one word, kind of, that's finally, and finally in Swedish is till slut. I mean, there's also äntligen, but that's more like, ha, oh, finally. But finally we did this. And that is till slut. I feel like till slut is one word because you put all words together, but actually, according to grammar, for some reason, till slut is two words. Norway is the country with the most Instagram usage per capita. 93% of Sweden is on the internet, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's one of the higher numbers in the world, but 93% of the country has access to the internet. I don't know if this is 100% true or not, but I saw it in a photography video where a guy was like, the armpit is the warmest part of a human body, so he kept his battery that died because of the cold in his armpit to warm it up to get it started again. So I think the armpit is the warmest part of a human body, but I am not 100% sure. I would feel like, like a vagina would be warmer than an armpit, but I don't know. Maybe on a male body. Another thing I mentioned in my mountain video, there are two versions of the seven summits. There's the Bass version and there's the Messner version. If you want to know the difference, go check out that video. Renata Klumska was the first Swede and Czech woman to complete the seven summits and she was also the first Swede slash Czech woman on top of Mount Everest. The parents in the world with the most children ever. Two people who had the most children ever, had 69 kids. And you think like, how the hell do you have time to have 69 kids? There were only 27 different pregnancies. So imagine how many twins, how many triplets, how many quadruplets she had. New York City was first called New Amsterdam. Komodo dragons can reproduce sexually and asexually. So they don't have to mate to have babies. The first moon landing ever was July 20th, 1969. There's a lot of 69 in this month. But the first steps on the moon was actually on July 21st. Octopuses have three hearts and apparently they're called octopuses. I would like them to be called octopi. The next fact is one that's very fucked up and I don't know why it is this way. I'm guessing it's true because it said that it was true, so I'm guessing it's true. If you're from France, please tell me. How the fuck does this work? France has 11 time zones. Russia has nine. Russia, this big, has nine time zones. France, this big, has 11 time zones. The fuck? I also learned that sponges and rugs that you clean with soak up warm water much faster than cold water because warm water is thinner than cold water. So it's eat more easily soaked up. The fourth competitive season of Overwatch, the game that I played on Sony's channel, video up here, um, starts today on the 28th, but it doesn't come to Europe until like tomorrow-ish. And the last fact is that Steven Spielberg actually has one of the original rosebud sleds in his home. And if you don't know what a rosebud sled is, go learn some film history. And those were all the facts, 28 facts for the month of February. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, I will see you later.